Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Slam Sanctuary Customs. We are back with our E31 840 Ci and today we're going to be talking about wheels. So we're going to see our good friend Ellie over at Voodoo Motorsport. Hopefully the wheels are there that we've been uh, talking about. Um, so yeah, let's get in the car and get over to Voodoo Motorsport. <laughs> So I've actually already done a mod on this car. You're thinking, what have I done? No, not the air ride, that's not done. The wheels are still the stock wheels. It's actually a small mod, but it makes a big difference. The number plate, M840 BMW. This is a BMW 840Ci. I actually bought this plate well over a year ago before I'd even purchased a car, knowing that at some point I was gonna jump into an 840. So guys, let's get in the car. Let's get over to uh, Voodoo Motorsport. Right guys, we are here, Voodoo Motorsport. Uh, just outside Amersham, about 35 minutes from Hayes. And uh, let's get Ellie out. I can hear him. <laughs> Happy Hello. New Year. Happy New Year. How are you? Yeah, not so bad, you know. Struggling on. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Looks good. Yeah, so what do you think? <laughs> first first impression. It's really nice. I love it. So oh. like it's a good clean car. Oh yes, the number plate. That's my first mod. <laughs> it's perfect. So it's a good clean car. The wheels aren't too bad. Uh, yeah, well, they're not bad, you know, but um they've but been... with what we're planning, yeah, they just won't work. Nah. So the car is going on air, as we do. Yep. Uh, and we need to obviously step up in terms of wheel size. Okay. And I know you've got some, uh, you've got some wheels for me inside, haven't you? Yeah, I've uh, got some wheels hidden away. Yeah, got Jazz mentioned uh, that you've got these wheels, that are his wheels, and now I've purchased them off him, and I'm excited, very eager to see these wheels, because apparently they're supposed to be the nuts. Uh, when they're done, they're going to be nice. Okay, that's a bit worrying. <laughs> okay, <laughs> they're, they're in they're pretty they're in a pretty original like um, stripped down form, you know, like oh, not is... like these. These are at least got some colour to them and they are okay. presentable. But th these need some work to bring them back up. But Do you that... mean they're? <laughs> not <laughs> but they're the ideal they're the ideal donor to get right. So. Okay, right. So uh, let's go inside. Let's okay. have a look at these wheels, and uh, we're going to probably test fit them as well. Yeah, we'll do a test fit definitely. Okay, let's go. Yeah, come in. Mm. These aren't my wheels, are they? The, these are the ones, yeah. The f <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, my wheels that are on the car at the moment are far better than these. Yeah, they are in some respects. This bit in your car has been powder coated as well. Sure. And it's probably because um, they get to a point where um, either these are so out of shape, they're impossible to cut, or they're too thin to recut because they've been okay. cut too many times. These are the ideal wheels when they, when they can't be cut to just go, do you know what, we'll take the center out Okay, um, so that's that section there. Yeah, and we'll just build them the way we want to with uh, parts. And if you want to keep them 17 inch, then you just add a lip. If you want to step them up, these have got such a big center that they're ideal to step up to 18, possibly 19. 19, I think we're trying to get to 19. Yeah, so, okay, 19 um, sounds good, yeah. But the, the biggest thing for me is obviously the size of the lip mm -hmm. because I don't want to go too aggressive. Okay. I don't want silly stretch rubber. Yeah. The car needs to be driven, needs to be used. Okay. Yeah. And there's some lovely examples of 840s out there mm -hmm. that just mm -hmm. look the absolute nuts. Yeah. But stretch rubber, and I don't want to go extreme. So okay. that's why I think we need to uh, measure and just get it perfect. Are you sure you can? We can fix these, don't worry. Yeah. Okay. Set new caps, nice color, get rid of all this, blast all this corrosion off. Okay. And. Um, when you see them, you won't recognise them. So we're not going to use these to test fit, are we? Um, no. What I've done is I had some I had some parts laying around. Okay. Um, because we machine a lot of blanks as well, and I built a skinny version of your wheel in 18 inch. Oh. So it's okay. already, already starting to look better. Yes. You know? 
This is a two and a half inch lip. And on the inside, we've put a three inch lip. And we still need to machine a little step in there, but that'll be easy to fit to the car because it's narrow. Right. And Good then we can, well, we thought we'll go with the narrowest dish on the front that we, you know, we think would definitely fit. And if you need to go bigger, we can measure it easily from situation look, front and back. And we don't have to worry about trying to squeeze a wheel on just to get a fitment. Well, already they look a lot better. The wheels and the hardware, the barrels, the lips, everything, that's all been supplied by Jazz, yeah. SR Hardware. His yeah. details are on the screen. Obviously, make sure you give him a follow. He's the go-to guy now for wheel accessories. Would you, would you agree? Well, yeah. Uh, we use all his stuff on all our step-ups and most of our builds now. Did our bits for our Merc 124 Coupe project come from him as well? They came from Jazz. Yeah. And the previous set we built for you? The Hartigas on the 635 CSI. They're all okay. Jazz parts too. The nice touch with these wheels is um, the holes on the original centers are, are big enough to take M8 hardware. Right. So we drill, we machine these to fit these, we drill the holes to take M8 hardware, and the M8 hardware has got the nice big head, which is, in, which is comparable to like OZ, BBS. Originally they come stuff. with M7 hardware. They're, it's an M7 with, a, with an, a, a spline section, which is bigger than the M7. Right. The M7 is literally just to bolt it together. Can you see how loose that is? Yeah, it's got a bit of play. It's got loads of play, but if you use an M8 bolt, it's nice and snug. So it's, these wheels lend themselves to doing the M8 conversion. Right. And uh, as it's these meta. were blanks, we can yeah. machine them to suit the wheels. And it, it is going to be a nice build. So. so the bolts, should we go silver or should we go gold? If you're after originality, then um, silver is the way, the way to go. Um, but the car, the car does lend itself to gold accents. I mean, it's personal preference. I would say silver, but that's just me. What do you guys think? Have you got a set of gold bolts here as a comparison? We do. Hang on. So the left the one's the chrome. Chrome. The right one's the gold, and the centre one is the original. Right, shall we uh, take these out and uh, get them fitted up, fit yeah, up on the car? Let's do some and trial see, uh, see how they look. Yeah, let's, let's do it. good apart from this section obviously so that's a two and a half inch lip on the front and potentially three inch lip at the back uh, we're just going to see if we can maybe go three inch at the front and therefore three and a half inch at the back but i think that might be tight at least this way i don't need to have silly stretch rubber The inside edge of this stick sitting within the arch. Are you gonna? You're not gonna do anything. You can roll these arches or anything, are you? Mm, I, if need be, but I don't want to. Okay. Now, are you gonna run like a full fat tire? I wouldn't say full fat, but I'm not running super stretch. Okay. So slightly more go car than yeah. show car. Yeah. Okay. So if you have a tiny stretch, um, plus you got to remember on air, this is going to. It's gonna camber in. It's gonna camber in slightly. I, I think two and a half on the front is where you need to be. Okay. So with two and a half. Plus the centre, which is half, makes three. Plus five and a half on the rear, it's eight and a half on the front. Right, so here we go. We'll lower down the car. Bust the wood. It's just the wood. Wow. <laughs> and the way this car's designed, you're going to have an airbag where the spring sits, which is inboard, and 
and the shock absorber is separate, so they're separate, whereas the front's a McPherson strut, right? So this is going to be essentially the same distance here at the back, even with the air on it. And I'm thinking, wow, you're going to get extra four inches on the back, Mark. Yeah. Now on the front, that's two and a half inch dish, and <clears throat> the inside edge of this is sitting, is sitting in about, well, about 10 mil, Mark. Okay, nice. That looked nice. That looked good. Yeah, because yeah. from the rear as well, you'll yeah. see. Yeah. 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 It's a nice tyre from the yeah. rear, you know? Yeah. You, Chunky tyre, fat rib, nice lip, mm. and still be able to drive it. Yeah, and yeah. push it. Yeah, and know? push it a little bit hard, you know, that's what this you know? car commands. Yes, well, yeah. It's pointless having all that power and then just yeah. poodling around to the shops, you know? So I guess we're done. You got all the measurements? Yeah, measured everything. Original wheels, the new measurements for the step up. What have you worked out? So on the front, uh, we worked out that we can gain about half an inch. So they're currently eight on the front? Currently eights, yeah. So we'll be stepping them up and going to eight and a half. By 19. By 19, yeah. And then on the rear, um, do you know the original size? Nine by 17. Correct, yeah. See, there's his car. Yeah. And. Uh, I've worked out um, that we can go to 10 and a half oh, on the so that's rear. going to be really chunky on the back. Yeah, the lip's going to be a little bit bigger than the front, so not a huge difference mm. in lip size, but you're going to see a staggered look, but you'll be able to run a really nice tyre on the rear. Chunky tyre. You can lay it down yeah. big time. As I said, I don't really want to run too stretched in mm. terms of tyre. Okay. I want to see have a nice uh, tyre wall as mm. such. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think, I think we're done here. Mm. Uh, timeline, next week? Um, <laughs> you know how to make me sweat. <laughs> okay, okay. Make me sweat. Timeline. Uh, well, um, it's all parts dependent. That's, of course. That's, but uh, typically, we could get these into paint by the end of next week, and then uh, all the parts can be machined in the meantime, and then build the following week. Okay. So, so uh, the challenge I have, and the challenge I've set myself, is this car needs to be done by Ultimate Dubs. Okay. So we're two months away, give or take. Okay. Um, the air, in fact, we'll talk about the air in the car. Mm. The wheels is obviously the big thing because that's the only thing that's out of our control. Yeah. So that's pressure's on. We need the wheels first. Yeah, yeah. we need the wheels. Um, so yeah, we're gonna leave these with you. Okay, cool. I'm gonna put it over here. Here you go. Thank you so much. Thank you. And uh, we're gonna rock and roll. All right. And I will speak to you, no doubt, in a week or two. I think yeah. Jason's gonna pop back at some point. Is that right, Jason? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And he's going to try and film the process, at least on one wheel. So, yep. you know, you guys can see that how Ellie and Mark will transform this rather rusty old inner to something that just looks like art. Yes. All right. So, yeah. Right. Appreciate the time. No worries. And uh, we'll speak soon. Yeah. Take care. All right. Safe journey. Right guys, so yes, we have now left Ellie's place, Voodoo Motorsport, heading back to Hayes. As I mentioned earlier, uh, the car has to be ready for Midland March, which is Ultimate Dubs, the first show of the year. Although it's called Ultimate Dubs, it is a mixture of all cool modified cars. So yeah, that's the wheels now sorted. The next step is obviously the air and the suspension. Um, so literally within the next few days, the car will be going into our workshop and the engineers will be stripping it down and they will be installing airlift suspension. Now there is no off the shelf kit that airlift manufacture for the 840 or the 850 for the E31 series. So we'll have to scratch our heads and work out what will fit best, but I'll leave that to the engineers to calculate. After air, we'll be doing audio. Now, the audio uh, installation in this car will need to be high end. So I'm not sure which brands I'm going to go for yet. I think we need to get the wheels and the air done and then we can concentrate on the audio. Maybe the audio might not even be ready for UD. We don't know. Um, so yeah, guys, um, as always, thanks for watching. Any questions, any comments you have, drop them with, down below and uh, we will do our best to answer them. Uh, Voodoo Motorsport details are in the description down below. Give them a follow on Instagram 
and any questions you have about wheels just obviously direct them straight to Voodoo Motorsport make sure you share our content as always and subscribe to the channel because there's a lot more content coming your way